Do you ever use real-time coaching with your clients? My guess is you probably don't, but could benefit by doing so. I'll explain what it is in this video. First, what is real-time coaching? It is when you share with your client what you are experiencing of them in that moment. And you're sharing it with them because you think that this could be good for them to know how you're experiencing them in case they might be coming across the same way with other people in other conversations, other situations. How can this be helpful? Let me give an example on how this might be experienced in a coaching session. Let's say that your client tends to ramble. They take a question that you ask, a good open-ended question that's trying to get to the heart of the situation, and they go on for two or three minutes answering the question. The way that goes, you feel like your sessions with them just don't accelerate to the degree that you would like, and they don't get to really important, pivotal turning points in the conversation as often as you would like because they ramble with their answers. After a few coaching sessions, you're feeling like, there seems to be a pattern of behavior with this client and I would like to help them to see themselves through my experience. You might say something like, I have noticed that when I ask you a question, you tend to give fairly long, extensive answers that give me even more information that I was looking for in response to my question. I'm trying to ask short, sharp questions to get to the heart of a situation with you, and you seem to be responding with long, thoughtful, and potentially helpful responses to you. But I sometimes get a little bit lost along the way trying to process all of that which you're sharing with me in response to my short question. Do you think this is something that might be worth talking about? The idea is that you're triggering a thought in their mind that maybe the way I'm being with my coach is a way I, I'm being with other people. And what is my coach trying to tell me? So then your client might say something like, all right, what is, what is your point here? What, what are you trying to tell me? And you might say, well, I'm, I'm simply sharing of my experience with you, and I'm wondering if maybe sometimes you receive feedback from others that they were looking for just a short answer from you and they received a long one, or that they have a lack of clarity as to whether you actually answered the question, maybe you answered it in a different way than they expected, and therefore they need to ask it again, have you experienced these kinds of disconnects with people in conversations? Well, it does happen sometimes where people ask me the question again because they feel like maybe I didn't answer it the right way or, or they might uh, then ask me another question that seems similar to what they had just asked me, but then I feel like I guess I should answer it again. Well, I'm now back in the, the coach's role. I wonder if it might be helpful for us to work on answering questions that are presented clearly in a short, succinct fashion so that you can then have that as a, another tool, another conversational and communication tool to use when talking with other people. Could that be helpful? And your client will probably say yes. So then you might go into some sort of exercise that would help them to start to give more succinct answers to your questions. This is one example of coaching in real time. You may also do other types of real time coaching, such as when your clients tend to not answer the question. That's a whole different matter, right? Not a long winded answer, but just not answering the question at all. Or when your clients seem to uh, not be committal and uh, fall behind on deadlines regularly, commitments they've made to you to take certain actions, that may entail some real-time coaching, which is, gee, I noticed that with me and the commitments that you make, you tend to not keep them. Is this just with me or is this happening with other people too? This is real-time coaching along with kind of 
over the engagement type coaching, right? It's a little bit of a blended approach, but it's confronting them in the moment about something you're experiencing in reflecting back to them this scenario and are other people experiencing that? So I hope you'll consider this because you've probably thought of it before and either didn't know what it was called or avoided it because you weren't sure how to go about it. And uh, there may have been some apprehension on your part. I encourage you to try it. I think that this can really accelerate your coaching progress with a client and help them beyond uh, what you're working on uh, over the arc of the engagement. If you'd like to learn more from me, consider attending an upcoming training with me. My next in-person seminar is in November. Now, that'll be three and a half days with me, presenting to you uh, educational materials through our training and certification program at the Center for Executive Coaching. You'll also get lots of coaching practice. You'll get coached and you'll just find it to be a terrific learning experience. Of course, we also have other levels of enrollment, distance learning and virtual seminar, which is presented by our founder, Andrew Knightlick, and that's an excellent experience as well. And the distance learning program opens up the whole world of the CEC. We have five different instructors presenting sessions every single week, most weeks of the year. Also, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with others, comment on it if you have questions, and feel free to email me at michael at barryexecutivecoach.com if you'd like to learn more about our educational programs that can get you certified as an executive coach, or if you just have general questions about coaching, I'd be happy to respond to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.